while you're busy setting up a whole system for your house, one of the very popular things to add is to add in rainwater harvesting while you're busy with this whole process. Uh, if you're looking to do rainwater harvesting, you probably will need to do, have a JoJo tank in place. And very importantly, make sure you have a sufficiently large JoJo tank to actually catch a meaningful amount of um, rainwater. The ideal setup would be to say, if you want to keep two and a half thousand liters as a buffer for your house, rather get a 10,000 liter tank then and set a level switch in the tank to only fill it up with your water source, whether it's municipal borehole or river, only to 25% level. And then you'd connect your rainwater harvesting up to the same tank. And when it rains, you'll get the rainwater filling up the rest of the tank and you'll only start adding whatever your normal source is into the tank. Um, once you've dropped below that 25% level. There's two main components to rainwater harvesting. The first one would be gutter mesh, which uh, is a very inexpensive but surprisingly useful little product. Basically what that does is it, it's a little mesh that clips onto all of your gutters and just slides in under the tiles. And where you would use this is if you have a lot of leaves go getting on your roof. And basically all this does is it clogs, it prevents the gutters from clogging up and it makes sure that you still get a good flow of water actually going through into the rest of the system to be able to capture the water. The next thing is on the downpipe from your gutters to put in place some kind of a first flush filter. We, we've um, stocked quite a few different products and we believe this to be the best um, one in the market which is the superhead filter and it's basically what it does, it again has a screen for blocking, or blocking leaves in case something's gotten through or if you're not using gutter mesh. And then it fills the bottom, bottom pipe with water first and you can set how quickly it fills or how much water it flushes. And then the, the concept is that all the dust and dirt and bird droppings gets flushed away just to the ground first and only if it rains hot enough, you then start diverting water through a little filter and into your tank. It's not a perfect filter, but they do work quite well. And um, these are some of the better, better units to actually prevent most of the junk from getting into your tanks. Very important uh, thing with rainwater harvesting is you need to select the right roof. If you have one under a, under a tree, firstly, you'll definitely need the gutter mesh and you'll still run a risk of it clogging up. And more than anything else, you'll, you might have a lot of birds sitting in that tree and you get a lot of bird droppings on the roof which then gets collected with your rainwater and that's really, if, you, if at all possible, try and avoid it because it um, will dramatically shorten the lifespan of any filters you have in place after it and it just complicates the whole system unnecessarily. The next thing to keep in mind, these superhead filters uh, needs to be higher than the physical tanks because you want to run it by downhill to the tank otherwise you get to a very, very elaborate set, set up com consisting of quite a few sumps and pumps and uh, it just gets very expensive. So make sure to select your placement for the superheads very carefully and the, your placement for the tank to try and ensure that there's a bit of a height difference between them. And yes, other than that, it's a fairly straightforward thing to add on and set up.